suppliers and manufacturers that we talked to really thought there was no way that this was going to happen to try and create solar panels that would curve in two axes, um, but also be, as we call, automotive grade. That was really the, the biggest challenge, and we've definitely come a very long way. The team early on really was focused on the prototype solar panels, but early solar panels did not meet any of the targets that we've really started to design for. Once we established a general direction for our manufacturing process. Most of our progress came from lots of iteration. We're taking each lamination as a learning opportunity um, to improve the next one. We've made hundreds of tests um, that have gone through reliability of all sorts. Um, we've gone through sun simulators, steel ball drop, hail testing, um, environmental cycling, UV exposure. And with every single one of those tests, we learn more that helps us improve the process. Historically, vehicles have been designed with different things in mind that isn't efficiency like the Aptera has. However, with efficiency in mind, we're able to utilize the power of the sun, which makes a meaningful difference in the distance traveled by the Aptera since it is so efficient at moving through the air. After that, we have to produce two axes automotive grade solar panels, which can withstand environmental challenges such as rain and hail, and on top of that, have to last 15 years without any signs of yellowing or aging. A number of our coupons and material stackups that we had developed passed the 15 to 20 year life cycle test. As of today, coming off of our prototype production line, we have solar panels that are 50% more lightweight than alternative materials that are industry standard. These are panels that are getting really close to some of our target performance metrics for light transmittance, power output, um, and just general reliability. The first question we asked ourselves when we set about solar panel design was not how do we build one? It was how do we build a million of these? Recently we moved into a factory for solar that is really exciting. We've got 130,000 square feet in this facility and we have started build of both our low volume production line and our high volume production line here. The very first thing um, that was talked about was design for manufacturability, to be able to do really rapid change outs of materials or processes on the line. As we scale and we go through the growing pains of scaling, uh, hopefully we can predict some of those challenges earlier or at least accommodate um, challenges we may face. In partnering with Maxion, uh, we're able to create automotive grade curved solar panels that are long lasting, highly durable, with unprecedented solar range. At this point, we're able to build 10 plus panels a day. Um, I really like that efficiency is the main goal of the vehicle, and that's enabled solar to be even an option. I really think it's gonna be a game changer in the automotive space. I think a lot of people are already showing their interest and I'm excited to yeah, get to production. Solving the problem of solar for the Aptera, which is generally considered one of the more challenging and novel aspects of the vehicle, means that we've gotten one of the most challenging parts of the vehicle out of the way. And we're really one step closer to making solar mobility a reality. With the invention of two axes automotive grade solar panels, Aptera is leading the way in providing the technology that is gonna take us away from harmful fossil fuels and take us towards a sunnier future. I think Aptera's future is looking really bright.